everyone so the next topic which we will be discussing is about the electrocardiograph so you have heard of the term as ecg so what is ecg ecg it is a test which is used to measure the electrical activity of the heart and this test takes about a few minutes and it is devoid of any pain so this test will not cause any pain this test is to check the electrical activity of the heart which causes the heart muscles to contract that results in the pumping of the heart so this is the ecg so let's start with the first slide that it is a test used to measure the electrical activity of the heart it takes about few minutes it is activity of the heart that causes the heart muscles to contract and results in the pumping of the heart so ecg is in the form of spikes and dips such as waves so in the next in the next slides we will be discussing about these waves only so the ecg waves are like this so what are this so these waves pattern they help in accessing the rate of and the rhythm of a heart beat so the human heart produces an electrical impulse by itself so as this electrical impulse passes through our heart it generates an electric current that spreads to over our body and reaches the skin so when the patient is connected to the ecg machine so whenever the patient is being connected to the ecg machine there will be three electrical leads one each to both the wrist and the third to the left ankle of the heart that is used to monitor the activity of the heart and this is the standard ecg testing so this is the standard ecg testing now the process so the process of electrocardiograph or the ecg will include there is a small sticky electrodes that are attached to the arms chest and legs so these electrodes they are connected to the ecg machine through wires and that will help in detecting the electrical impulse at each heartbeat these electrodes which are these electrodes which are connected to the ecg machine they usually detect a very minute form of changes in an electrical path on the skin which arises from the heart muscle and the electro physiologic patterns of the depolarizing during every heartbeat so i was talking about this wave which is represented in the diagram here so what are these waves now they are represented as p r q s and e so what is the meaning of this so the p to t in the graph represents a specific activity of the heart so if i talk about the p then it is the electrical so it is the electrical excitation of the atria so it is electrical excitation of the atria or depolarization initiating the atrial contraction the next is q r n s so this is q r and s so what is this so q r s complex is a depolarization of the ventricles which initiate the ventricle contraction marking the beginning of the systole so they mark the beginning of the systole and the last wave which is the t wave which means the return of the ventricles to the normal state so the ventricles they are returning to the normal stage here so making the making the end of the systole so here at the t the systole will end here so there is a end of systole so this is the representation and the explanation of the ecg waves so by counting the number of qrs complexes we can evaluate the heartbeat of the patient so this way so this way we can evaluate the heartbeat of a patient so any deviation in this shape results in heart diseases or an abnormal heart rhythm which can either be slow irregular or very fast heartbeats 
so this is a very essential equipment in the field of the medicines now there are some types of ecg tests so there are three main types and what are these resting ecg resting ecg if i talk about resting ecg here then it is used to examine the electrical it is used to examine the electrical activity of the heart at rest resting is come so it is the electrical activity of the heart at rest so while performing this test the patient is asked to relax and then their heartbeat is recorded so this is the resting ecg now the exercise ecg as the name suggests so this ecg is used to examine the electrical activity of the heart during the stress or exercise so in this test a patient is asked to run walk on a treadmill or cycle when the heartbeat is recorded next is 24 hour heartbeat so as this name suggests also here this ecg is conducted for 24 hours so the ecg here will be conducted for about 24 hours Hours. So the heart's electrical impulses are measured by a device which is called as the halter monitor. What are the medical uses of ECG? The medical uses of ECG are so the main goal of ECG is to obtain the information regarding the heart impulses. So this means that it can find evidence of past heart attacks or even any undiagnosed heart diseases so the medical uses will include the seizures the fainting there is a pulmonary embolism cardiac dysrhythmias myocardial infraction or heart attack arrhythmia deep vein thrombosis and the ventricular hypertrophy so these are the medical uses of ecg now what are the applications of this so it will there will be a biotelemetry of the patient the testing of the cardiac stress through ecg we can measure that also then there is a diagnosis of the structural heart diseases then monitor we can monitor the effects of the heart medications assess the severity of the abnormalities in the electrolyte the monitoring of the form of anesthesia that is being involved here and cta which is the compute did tomographic angiography we can do this then mri that is the magnetic resonance angiography of the heart the screening of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy in adolescents as a part of the sports related death such as sudden cardiac arrest so we can also determine this so these are some of the applications of the electrocardiograph now why this ecg is done so ecg it is done to check the heart health so in a case of other diseases such as diabetes high blood pressure high cholesterol so it is basically used to detect the health of the heart to check the thickness of the chamber of the heart so if so it, it is used to check the thickness of the chamber of the heart so it so that there will be no blockage in the heart walls to monitor if the medicines are causing any side effect so it could also see if the medicines that a person is taking is not causing any side effect and it also check if the mechanical devices implanted in the heart are working properly or not so it could also check this so this was all about the ecg or electrocardiograph these are some of the references thank you